All right, so we finally got a Ryzen 5000 series. It is, of course, a 5800X, which is the one that nobody wants because it's a bad deal. But it really helps control the scalper situation that this is the bad deal one because if nobody wants it, nobody buys it. And if nobody buys it, it comes in stock. So if it's in stock, the 5600X and the 5900X cannot be really sold at a higher core ratio, like say $50 a core for a 5600X and I can't math for the 5900X and it allows this to come in stock. So at least I could get my hands on it. And when I got it, I got it from Amazon and it was saying that it wasn't going to ship until like the 21st of December, but it came within a week. So if you're looking at a 5800X and it comes in stock more frequently, then there's a good chance that you could get it within a week. So if you need Ryzen 5000 now, this is probably your best chance of getting one. So of course I could do a whole review on this and pretty much show you what you've probably already seen from every other YouTuber, but I have a very specific thing that I want to know about this CPU. And is the Smart Access memory feature compatible with HBM2 memory. And that is, I own a Radeon 7 GPU and it has 16 gigabytes of super fast HBM2 memory. And realistically, that has a massive memory bus. And of course, what I wanna know is will this, with the Smart Access memory feature, expand that memory bus or create any kind of uh, Performance uplift. Let's go ahead and open it up. I've already broken the seal to make sure that it's not some counterfeit garbage. Yep, it's a CPU. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm not gonna do a review, but I'm gonna go ahead and run Cinebench anyway. <laughs> Just because I have it recording and it's cool now. I like recording and, and having the camera on at the same time. Uh, so the requirements on the AMD website, they state you need a 6000 series graphics card. For the smart access memory to work? Yeah. I See, I, I, I just want to know, man. I don't know if they'll let you enable it. They might. I don't know. Now we get to advanced settings. Uh, enable above 4G decoding and resize BAR support. What the hell? Yeah, the BAR support's what I want. That is a... Hook me up with a BIOS. Come on, chop, chop. <laughs> chop, chop. Are you in Windows? Yeah, I'm in Windows, but hook me up with a BIOS so I can flash it when the Cinebench run is done. Cinebench should be done before I even get the flash drive. Oh man, it's going really quick. Exactly, it's going to be done before I get the flash drive. What's the score? What's the score? What's the score? 5,644. Wow. Man, that really slaughters a, a 3800X. Like, that's like a thousand points more. It's like, yeah, yeah, it's 12, eh, it's 1100 points more. Huh? Yeah. He did not like that. Whoa. <laughs> Show the camera, show the, oh, it's got it, it, We have We have it recorded. Oh man, what the <laughs> hell? <laughs> what did we do? What in tarnation? Oh, don't, don't die the whole BIOS. Oh my God, why? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, which one's the storage device? How big is that thing? Uh, 64? Like, yeah. FS0? Yeah, I think it's FS0. Yeah, uh, yeah. That one. <laughs> quick, quick BIOS <laughs> update while it's green. AMD is green team. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's a new one. <laughs> yeah, no, I've never seen that. Plug in a flash drive during the post. Get green BIOS. If you've ever seen this, let us know in the comments. Please. Oh wow, I'm not even in frame. It's just, I'm just the talking, uh, you're, yeah, I'm you're just the, the parent from like 90s TV shows. Yeah. Oh, mom, mom, mom. I do really enjoy that we're recording everything. Yeah, like, man, we could be like big time production. I think we're already big time production, kind of. I just need a better editor. <laughs> I love it, like I just, it, it, I'm getting goosebumps just thinking about how I have I have all this all this video to, to put. Yeah, I mean, imagine if we weren't screen recording. You yeah, you see the green bios. I mean, I could I could turn the camera, but now you get it in full 1080p glory, 
no matter what. I could zoom in on that and it'd be and it'd be 720p at like a corner of that screen. Why do BIOS updates take so long? I'd rather they take long than just die. Quickly. I think it's one of those things where it's like a railroad track where it like picks up the track in front of it, replaces it, and then picks up the track in front of it and then replaces it. That's what it's doing in the BIOS. Like it's deleting stuff and adding stuff, deleting stuff and adding stuff, deleting stuff and adding stuff. I feel like that's how it works. Do you know how BIOS flashes work? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Please just let us know anything in the comments. Oh, update successful. Update successfully. Will it be green? That's a really confusing um, grammar there, but okay. <laughs> Why are you still green? BIOS is updating LED firmware. What? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Do not shut down or reset to prevent system boot up failure. Okay. You said it was successfully. You said update was successfully with exclamation mark. How could you have lied to me like this? It's still green. Zax, I think you broke my BIOS. I did it. <laughs> well, when it's done, take the flash drive out. Maybe green is flash mode. Wait, uh, what, it, what? It's saying BIOS is updating again? <laughs> Are you ever going to finish updating? Oops, break oh, board. Oh, it just turned off. I'm waiting for it to turn back on on its own. Yep, it did. Okay, maybe, maybe it's finally reset. It's funny because I see it on the laptop before I see it on the computer screen. Yep, still green. <laughs> that actually broke my motherboard. Yeah, boy. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out now. I swear to God, if it's still green. <laughs> my BIOS is just green forever now. No! 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 Did you take the flash drive out? Yeah! <laughs> Why is it still green? <laughs> oh god! Oh god! What is wrong? Oh god! Why? I didn't do anything to deserve this. Please, God, let it be. Let it be normal. You fool! You let me touch your computer. I'm so worried right now. <laughs> I like how it pauses the, the recording. No, 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 no! What is wrong? What is going on? What is this nightmare? Oh my God, why? What? What did you do? Not a damn thing, you know it. All right, well, disregard that the bio screen is green. Um, I'm kind of lightheaded from, from this. Where's the re resizable bar supposed to be at, if it's anywhere? It just says, like, advanced settings. AMD is not very specific. Uh, PCI subsystem settings. Oh no, it's, dis it's, it's green. <laughs> oh no. Wait, what's green? <laughs> Windows. <laughs> it has a green tint to it. Sax, what did you do? <laughs> Why is it like this? <laughs> I can't, I, I, I just, I can't, I can't right now. AMD drivers, where are you? Yes, I need you to freaking install right now. <laughs> Windows default drivers is not having a good time. <sighs> As that's for help, they said. You'll be, it'll be fine, they said. This is going to become the... Oh, okay, okay, yep, there we go. There we go, it's not green anymore. So Windows default drivers is having a bad time. Maybe that'll be the title of the video. I got Ryzen, we got Ryzen 5000 and completely broke our BIOS. Okay, okay, I have 16 gigabytes of VRAM again. Don't know how I broke that. This is just a day of surprises. All right, hour later, went, ate food, Downloaded this game. 
<laughs> a lot of stuff has happened since uh, approximately eight seconds ago. So uh, there's a benchmark in Hitman 2. AMD advertises this game to be better with the resizable bar. So if we see a difference here, it is working. Or at least I think it's working, or I hope it's working. So right now we have it off. So I'm just going to go ahead and run the benchmark and then go in the BIOS, turn back on the resizable bar, run it again. And if there's a difference, I'm going to call it proven. I don't care how small the difference is. I might have to go off camera and run this like run this like back to back like three times and get three results before I'm fully comfortable with saying that it's it's replicatable and actually a thing. And that's really interesting to me because, you know, this is exactly what I wanted to see. So, you know, I could be biased because it's what I want to see, but I haven't, I have not yet seen it fall with the resizable bar on. Like, it's just like the, the 3070 versus the 2080 Ti video where it's like, yeah, the 3070 kind of matches the 2080. Like they're kind of within margin of error of each other, but the 2080 Ti is always slightly better. Like it's, a, it's either exactly the same or slightly better, like no matter what you're doing. So by this being always exactly the same, like with like the say unit engine um, benchmark, for it to be the same but slightly higher there and then be slightly higher with the uh, Hitman 2 benchmark, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of telling. <laughs> it's not a huge difference, but it's, it's definitely there. Because I feel like it's not gonna make a huge difference on 4K because um, you know, your CPU, you're not CPU bound, you're GPU bound. So the GPU die itself is doing most of the work. We're in 1080p. The CPU has to do more, so it has to be accessing more of the, the the, uh, the memory on the card. So I think if I run 1080p a few times, I'm seeing a difference here. Like I'm gonna run it two more times with this on and then I'm gonna go turn it back off and then run it two more times there. And if I'm getting a real difference, then I can comfortably say that there is a difference with the resizable bar on. And it's in a game that AMD claims works with the resizable bar. So <laughs> I'm very interested. It, it looks promising at this point in the video. Okay, so I ran the benchmarks, I ran the benchmark again uh, six times, three times with the resizable bar on and three times with the resizable bar off. With the bar on, we saw 115.25, we saw 116.24 and 114.33, and then turned it off, booted back into Windows, uh, and saw 114. 113.07, but then 116.13. So, with the bar on, it does kind of make a tiny difference, but not with outside of margin of error. So, effectively, I have no idea if it makes any difference at all. <laughs> so, I'll leave you with that. <laughs> with the tiny bit of a gain, um, on average, but not enough to really call it a gain at all. So with that confusing and not at all really helpful answer, um, I think I'm going to end it. So if you uh, enjoyed me just screwing around with uh, this brand new CPU and trying random garbage like this, you know, get subscribed. If you wanna see me try something else, maybe leave a comment. If you like this video, like this video, if you didn't like this video, just like this video, and have a great day, guys. I'm really sad. I'm gonna like go do something for like digging for answers, but I don't think I'm gonna find it. I don't need sleep, I need answers. I need answers.